Hey Christine, the other day a friend told me that I'm a sinner and I need Jesus to be saved. Seriously? I know I'm not perfect, but me? A sinner? Ronald, I hope you're not offended, but I don't think your friend meant what you think he means. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you and I have been friends for a long time. I know you're very active in your church, but never once have I felt being judged by you. So what did he mean? I'm glad you asked. Well, the Bible says in Genesis that humankind is made in the image of God. You mean we look like God? Um, not in the literal sense, but we resemble God in some sense. Being made in his likeness means we share and reflect some of his qualities. But the problem is the very first human beings, Adam and Eve, disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden. As a result, the image of God in us became corrupted. And that's what your friend meant when he said we are sinners. But the biblical Hebrew word for sin, kata, also has an interesting meaning. It's an archery term that means to miss the goal or fail. Fail? Yes. You see, when God made humans in his likeness, we're to love and obey him with all of our heart, soul, and mind. We're also to love other people as ourselves. But our corrupted nature prevents us from doing both. Many people don't acknowledge the Creator as God. And if we were to be honest, we don't treat other people as we ought to. We don't love others as we love ourselves. The world is full of aminosity and atrocity. We were made for that goal, to love God and others. But our corrupted nature prevents us from reaching it. Our corrupted nature is like a whirlpool, and our being is like a swimmer trapped in our own whirlpool, unable to reach our intended destination. And our natural strength is not enough for us to swim out of the swirling current. Then what can we do? Can't we try harder? That's the thing. There's nothing we can do on our own when we're trapped in the current. But the good news is, despite being aggrieved, God extended his grace to us by sending us a lifeguard to pull us out to safety. That lifeguard is Jesus. He's the only qualified lifeguard because he came to earth and lived a life without missing the goal. He is not trapped in the whirlpool. And because he is not trapped within, he is able to pull us out of the whirlpool if we hang on to him. And this is what your friend meant when he said we are sinners needing Jesus to save us. But there's so many of us in the whirlpool. Can Jesus pull everyone out? Can he really save everyone? Yes, that's a conversation for another time. <laughs>